Hello guys, we're coming to you something different today. We've got a little review in store for those guys who like to go out at night and go and um, shoot some vermin or um, any animal that's giving you trouble. And uh, this company contacted me and asked me to do a review, so this is it. And we've already taken it out and experimented a little bit and it worked really well and we we're quite impressed with the footage we got back. And tonight we're going to show you some more footage, hopefully something good. This is the One Leaf Commander NV100 uh, scope attachment. And it comes with, quite handily, three different mounts to put on your different size scopes. It's got a 42, a 45 and a 48 millimeter diameter mounts and you just choose the one that's going to fit onto your scope that you're going to be using. Today we're going to be attaching it to a burrow scope with, on a 2 to 3 with a suppressor. To show you a few of the little features on this uh, attachment, if you open this little port here, over here it comes with a little SD card which they give you for free which is great and then the little charging port so that's really cool uh, at the back here this is a little focus ring to get the focus right for your, your reticle uh, here's where you put the battery on and off make sure you take the little tab out otherwise it won't work and then this is the little infrared light that it comes with back here we have the on off switch and we have the infrared mode and the day mode and then these are different settings between your uh, video recording and your photography and what's really handy is it also records your uh, voice and your audio so you'll get all of that on a video as well. In the box you're going to find a handy little user manual, a nice cloth to clean the monocular with, you get an extra eyepiece which is super, a charging cable and your little allen keys that you get with all these things and then you get a handy little bag as well to stick your mount in. So let's film the attaching it to the scope. So I've selected the 42 millimeter diameter ring and I can just test the fit and it fits really nice and snug. So that's the one we're gonna go with. Um, I'm just gonna remove it and we're gonna put it on to the monocular first and that way we can align the reticle perfectly. There you go, that's nice and snug. And we take the little handy Allen key and just tighten him a little bit. All right, let's switch it on. Push the button once. Okay, so at this point, I'm just double checking the reticle, making sure it's vertical, so that when we film, it will be uh, properly aligned seems like it's just a little bit off to the right you know just give it a little turn that should be perfect and then I'm just going to tighten up the bracket so I'll switch it off one long press so yeah that literally just takes not even two minutes to install having done it before the first time it took you know maybe five to seven minutes to get used to the focusing little ring here. Um, and then another thing to note is it's got these different eye relief as well that you can, three different sizes, so that's really handy. Uh, yeah, it looks like a great product, well done One Leaf. Uh, we're looking forward to taking it out now into the bush.
Salat auf. Okay, dann ist morgen. When you're looking through this, you can't tell if it's a ram or you. This is barking at your story, remember? Um, I don't see horns, eh? So that's it for our review on the One Leaf NV100. We quite enjoyed using it. It's a new type of product for us to use. We've never used these night vision recording devices before. So initially we're quite excited about it and getting better at it. Um, it's quite uh, challenging to get all the focusing right and making sure that you don't cant the rifle. So you can see sometimes we canted the rifle even though we haven't mastered it properly yet. We're hoping to have a few more opportunities in the future to get used to it and, and get some really crystal clear night footage and spot some interesting nocturnal activity. Let us know in the comments down below if you're interested in the product and what your thoughts are and if you know any tips and tricks that we can uh, try and copy in the future. Thank you.